Charles Radke, the Buffalo. You guys know this guy? So, Radke's hard to say, and it's even harder to spell. So, we might be calling him the Buffalo, and you're going to have to get used to us because I got a feeling we're going to be talking about this guy for a while. So, Radke fights over the weekend, okay? This is anything but a feature match. None of you watch the program to see Radke fight. That's just true. Those of you that did watch him fight couldn't produce the name of his opponent for me right now. That's just true. Not being condescending, right? It's an Apex show, and this is, this is Radke's second fight in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. His first fight, to put a perspective for you, was Strickland versus Adesanya. Okay, now Radke's an American fighter. Relevance to Strickland out of Sony is that took place in Australia. That was his debut. All right. For an American fighter, or anybody for that matter, to debut on an undercard in a different continent is done for one of two reasons. Somebody within the office knows who this is and believes in him and wants to get him out there in the right matchup that they find to be a feature bout, and that was a pay-per-view, even if he was undercard. Or, two, which is more likely, he got brought in to do the J-O-B for somebody else they were trying to put over. And was so good, okay, the Buffalo was so good, he didn't go under, he won. So that's his debut. So now he comes into the Apex over the weekend, he finishes the guy, and then he shows up for his post-fight interview. Okay, this is where things kick off. Now, if you're Charles Radke, you're the Buffalo, if you're new in the business, there's just a formula. I didn't make these rules. I observed these rules. But the rules, nonetheless, are as follows. You be nice to the media so that the media talks about you. The end. Right? You, you not only say yes to every interview you possibly can. You not only answer politely and try to form a relationship in some regard. If you have the sense that God gave geese with very few of these guys, dude, when it's done, you will find out the media members who asked you questions and you will find them in some capacity. You will text them, you will email them, you will DM them on social media, and you will thank them for the question and let them know if they ever have any more questions, this is how they can contact you directly. You, you must have the media. You could have five interviews or you could have five knockouts. Take the five interviews. If you want to know what is going to speed your career up faster, what is going to get you to a main event faster, what is going to get you to a title faster, and most importantly, what is going to make you money. Literally, if you have the choice between five interviews or five fights, take the interviews. Radke does none of the above. <laughs> he shows up. He shows up angry to start with, okay? Now, there's something in his mouth. I even went back and watched. I thought, is he eating pizza? Because they've let a few guys do this. This started with George Mosvall years ago, shows up to a press conference eating pizza. But other guys have done that since. But then you also have the sponsor, right? You've also got the monster drinks. And I, there was at some point, there was something in his mouth, which is rude. Okay, fine. He then tells them off. And he starts by telling them off, I should add. He starts by telling them, not in these words, but in this message, this is your job. I'm not being paid to be here. Your job is to get content and to ask me questions. You're getting paid. I'm now giving you charity. This is what he tells them. Okay, my advice a moment ago was to be super polite, form a relationship, and even contact them with a thank you message after the fact. He lets them know that he doesn't want to be there. And he's got something. He's either eating or drinking. It's one of the two. And by the way, should I add, he wasn't wearing a shirt. Do you know how disrespectful that is? <laughs> so, so, all right, the Buffalo tells these guys off. And what he tells these guys is a message not only to them, who he's giving charity to as he sees it, he then wants something, which is 50 Gs from the boss. And he's not going to stop talking about it until he gets it. And you know what? I believe him. I don't know if he got it that night. I hope that he did. But I do believe him that he will not stop until he does get it. And I've seen a lot of guys 
in that post fight ask for something that nobody else did and get it. I watched Stipe Miocic knock out five men and couldn't get a title shot. And he finally, in a post fight speech, asked for it. Right there. He looked at Dan and asked for it. And he said, Yes. I watched George St. Pierre, the greatest to have ever done it, ever get on his knees and ask for it. And Dana said, Yes. I watched Khabib Nurmagomedov, who was completely unscathed, completely, never a loss, refuse to leave an arena, refuse to get on the bus to transport him back. He sat on the hood or on the bumper of Dana White's car and asked for something, and he said yes. So when I tell you, I watched Conor McGregor become a star in his first night, the 50 Gs. Baby, you guys remember this? I believe the Buffalo that he will not stop. And quite frankly, I thought it was wonderful. So you have another game that you're playing, okay? Now, the one that I rolled out for you is the one that traditionally will work and that you will be advised to do, which is when you're new there, be prompt, be on time, be easy to work with, have something to say. And that's one of the big misses. As simple as that is, it's one of the big messes. Somebody comes to a press conference, they get asked a question. Just because you got asked a question doesn't mean you get media. It's how you answer the question that will determine if they can go write an article. They get paid by the word. I mean, it's one of these things, right? It's like fighters don't know what's going on. If the guy's a dot-com, he's paid by the word, which means if you tell him yes or no, he doesn't have an article to write, which means he won't write the article. So it's very important how you answer. But the other game that's being played is if you're new and you know you're new, if you've only fought one time and it was on a different continent and it was on a prelim, if you fought tonight and people weren't looking forward to it and don't even know who the opponent was, I mean, just but, but right, right, if you're in one of these spots, what are you going to get asked? So if you don't get asked, how do you handle that? And look macho. How do you look like the alpha in that situation? Well, what the Buffalo did is let them all know he didn't want to be there. And his interview, which it was like two minutes and 30 seconds. I, I watched this thing three or four times. It was like two minutes and 30 seconds. I mean, it, this was fast. He shoved it up their ass and down their throat. And he intimidated. They, well, they got intimidated. But there was something to see. He didn't call anybody out. I don't know what weight class he's at. I don't know if he's looking for a ranking. He didn't, he, didn't call, he didn't set something up in this manner that I would generally be looking for, but something was happening. I remember thinking that as a viewer as I'm watching this guy. I don't, I don't know what's happening, but something is happening right now. And when they got to the end of a very short segment, right, and it's a risky game that he came in telling these guys off the bat, you're working, I'm not. By the way, I want 50 grand for something. Like This was a risky game that he did from the beginning, but he essentially got what he was looking for, which was fine, we'll let you go. So when they let him go, he then, he told them good. It's good, I, don't, I, I didn't want to be here anyway. I didn't want to talk to you. because I'm changing the words. I'm getting you the theme. And it was a great spot. And I watched it and I rewatched it. And I sent it to my partner. I said, hey, watch this. He goes, this is great. I said, why? Let's break this down. Why is this great? Why does this work? Why does this guy have an attitude? How did this guy who fought on a prelim on a different continent before he got here tonight and he's demanding 50 grand shows up without a shirt? He's got something edible in his mouth and just told the media off. Why was it the best interview I've seen? Why? Let's break this thing down. So, it looks like there's a new bad guy in town. You certainly don't do what the Buffalo did and wear a white hat. So this is my kind of guy. More to come.